all right welcome back to the channel warhammer man back in the studio and today we've got the sisters of battle castigator tank and now we're going to solve a simple issue here which is options i never know when games workshop is going to change the rules so what we needed to do was figure out how we can switch between our two main weapons uh, if you're new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this uh, but you know i love those magnets and i lo love those options so uh, here we have the uh, big boy cannon right here and then we have also the uh, twin auto cannons as well and we wanted to make sure that we still have like the full posability uh, of the actual weapon itself but the ability to uh, swap it out uh, very easily so uh, the way we did that was just kind of popping off the top right here um, and I didn't fully glue it just so I could kind of show it off right now but we put two magnets on the inside there and then obviously installed some magnets in the side here so we can swap them at will we can paint them both up and no matter what Games Workshop changes, we'll still be set. So uh, there we have our basic two options right there. I uh, went ahead and magnetized everything and got it ready to go. Uh, so when the time comes, uh, it's no problem to be able to just switch between the two weapons. So if you're playing one game against one of your buddies or playing in a tournament or uh, the rules should happen to change on you, uh, you are prepared for any and all of those situations. So uh, very easily done and uh, very cheap. And then you have never ending options. Uh, you know, even if you don't paint up the second weapon right away, you at least have the option to do it when you need to. So, um, well, that's basically the idea of the video. And uh, let's take a look at how we did it. And uh, we'll do one here uh, live for you as well. So. And, you know, when it's all said and done, uh, obviously a very simple modification that uh, will reap dividends into the future uh, is even if you only paint up one of the weapons initially uh, if the rules should change or if you decide you want to use this tank in a different way in the future uh, it's always an option with minimal uh, you know additions as in just painting the other turret so we've installed two magnets on the sides here and then obviously two on each of our main guns and then it just slides right in there still fully posable and then you can swap them out uh, no problem at all so uh, very cool and very simple and then you have unlimited options after that so let's take a look at how we do it so all right so in order to solve the problem we got to figure out exactly what the problem is uh, there are two small little pieces right here that you only get one for each side of and there's two different weapons obviously those pieces just go in between our little swivel and where they mount right here uh, and then once they're attached in, you can swivel this weapon and use it freely. Uh, but you don't have two sets of them, so it's not an option to somehow leave this unglued and then be able to take it apart and swap them out. Uh, so what we had to do was figure out how we were going to eliminate that. So the first step is to basically, what we decided to do, install two magnets, one on each side, here and here, or alternatively, here and here, uh, because that's going to be like our swivel inside of the actual weapon itself. Uh, so in order to do that then, uh, we'll be able to remove the two little tabs from our two weapons here and then put some magnets in these and then we'll be able to put them inside of here uh, without having to take that apart. So there's two steps here basically. We want to magnetize this and then we want to magnetize our guns as well. So uh, first and foremost, we're going to need to remove these tabs right here. which can obviously be done uh, any way you choose. Uh, in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and just clip those tabs right off here. And for this one as well. All right, so that is done. Uh, so now the tabs have been removed. Uh, we do wanna just kinda clean up this edge just a little bit here. So we can get a relatively flat surface for our drill bit, which is our next step. Does not need to be perfect right now. Uh, we just want to make sure that we can get our drill bit where we need it to be. So uh, next I'm using a little hand drill right here. Uh, this works very well for like uh, your actual pilot holes. All right. So for this part, uh, all we want to do is take a look at right where that the uh, old mounting point was. And then we're just going to go ahead and drill a little pilot hole with this drill right here. And we just want to check and make sure everything is lined up good. Uh, and it's where we want it to be. And once we have it where we want it to be, uh, we're just going to go ahead and make sure it's nice and straight. 
and drill right on in there. All right, and then we'll do the other side as well. And there we have two little pilot holes there. Now we'll do the other one also. So we're just going to line that up and just make sure that we have it uh, centered right there. And we'll just line that up and make sure that we have it centered right there. Don't mind this drill is a little bit squeaky, uh, but it is in fact the Games Workshop uh, heavy hobby drill that they offer. Um, very good for like your initial pilot holes, although it won't take uh, some of the larger drill bits that I use standard. All right, so there we have our pilot holes all drilled and ready to go. Uh, the next step is to drill them out to the appropriate size that we want for our magnet. Uh, so this is slightly larger. Just going to go ahead and line that up right here. And for this one as well. All right, so now we have our holes drilled out there. Uh, we can go ahead and clean them up just a little bit if we want now. And uh, we just need to remember that these are models, so we do want to be delicate with them and try not to damage anything. Sometimes when we're using those power tools, you can get a little excited. Uh, but remember, these are little models and they are delicate. So, uh, so after we've done that, the next step is to just apply a little bit of our glue uh, to the actual holes. And use whatever kind of glue you want. Uh, I ran out of regular super glue. Well, actually, they were out of it at the store, uh, which is a common problem right now. Random things being out. Uh, so I had to improvise, but this glue works very well. And comes in this big old container. So, All right, so once we have a little glue in our holes there, uh, the next step is to go ahead and get a couple magnets ready. All right, so once we have our magnets ready and a little glue in the holes, uh, we just want to line them up and just give them a little push into the hole there. There we got one started. And we just want to make sure that we have them lined up already. Because I have two of these tanks and I want the turrets to be interchangeable, I need to make sure I put these in the uh, same way. All right, and then once we have it uh, in our hole started there, I'm just going to go ahead and take my tool here and give it a nice push. And all I'm looking to do is just push it in there until it's flush. All right, and then once we have it pushed in there nice and flush on both of these here, uh, we do want to make sure, obviously, that we did it correct. So the way that we do that is we have them set up with our other one. Uh, which we did obviously we want to double check that ahead of time and then once we have that done we're just going to switch to our other side and just apply a little bit of our glue obviously in this case too because of the uh, size hole we're doing and everything uh, we can push them in there and just the actual pressure keeps them uh, nicely secured as well so uh, once again we'll just sort of line it up with our hole there And then we'll just do our second one as well. Just sort of line it up with the hole there and get it started. And again, we just want to double check that it is correct. Yep, looks good. And then once again, we will just uh, take our tool here and line it up and just give it a nice push. All right, and then once we've got them pushed down in there nice and flush, uh, that's it. We have our two weapons magnetized and you will notice that in this case um, I did the weapons opposite sides. So this side, do you see how the magnets connect with each other no matter which way you have them? Um, that's going to uh, just give us basically, well there's a lot of reasons to or not to do that. Uh, my main reason is, 
is that when we magnetize this piece right here, the magnets will be facing in opposite directions, so they won't be trying to like suck in on each other. Uh, so, you know, it probably doesn't make a big difference, but I found that was the most effective. So this is the one we've already magnetized, and we'll see here we can just slide them in, and we're good to go. So the first half of our setup is done. We now have our two weapons magnetized and good to go. So now that those have been magnetized, uh, we need to get to the difficult part. Uh, when I say difficult, it's not actually that much more difficult. Uh, it's just a little bit different. You have to get a little creative. So um, obviously we have now these holes here uh, and we need to figure out exactly how they line up and where the turret will be placed inside there. So if you actually, if you actually look down in there and you could see the gap, the gap is much larger than the small magnets that we've used here. Uh, so th those magnets will not work. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a larger size magnet on these. Uh, so in order to do that, what we want to do is just flip it over here. And I've just checked to see where the actual turret lines up. And it's actually primarily on the top here. So what we want to do is we want to take a larger size drill bit. And this is going to be the size of the magnet that we put into here. And we want to just make this hole slightly bigger. So you'll see like the drill bit will kind of fit in there but can't freely rotate. Uh, so the easy way to do that is just do it by hand and be very gentle. So we're just going to kind of line it up in the corner here and just give it a twist by hand. And that's just going to make this hole just slightly bigger. And then once we get it just slightly bigger, uh, we're going to line it up almost how the magnet will place in there and then just give it a little twist. Uh, so once we just kind of clean that out a little bit now, uh, we can take our larger magnets and just kind of show you how those are going to go in there. So here we have the larger size magnets here and we'll see they were actually just slightly too small to fit in there initially but now they fit right into place almost perfectly so and then once we push the other side in again same thing now we do want to be careful i would recommend not gluing this piece on here if you have not done it yet uh, as those pieces can be like a little delicate and we definitely don't want to break anything when we're kind of muscling around with this so um so now we're going to take one of our already uh magnetized turrets here and we're just going to make sure that we line these up correctly because we want obviously the magnet to go in correctly so we're going to flip this upside down and we have this flipped upside down and then we know that the uh, magnet will need to go in that same way so so once again we'll just take our tool right here and we're just going to go ahead and we want to push it in with this side so we want to make sure that we have a couple magnets lined up and ready to go so here we have our magnet lined up right here obviously the same the same way as the turret so once we have it like that obviously that's perfect so now we need to figure in order to push that into the piece right here we want to flip it to the other side so now it's actually going to be opposite polarity so once we push it in it will not bounce to the wrong side so there we have it set up right there and we just want to push it right into that hole there so we'll go ahead and just put a little glue on all right so there we have the first one in place and we just want to do the same thing with the other one so we make sure that we still have our turret upside down here Then we'll just take one of our magnets and stick it on there accordingly. And then once we have it in place there, uh, we'll just take our razor one more time and we just want to make sure that it's lined up correctly. Oh, now we want to just double check and make sure because it flipped over there. All right. And then once it's all said and done, we have both our magnets in place. Uh, and plenty of clearance on the sides there. I do want to let them dry for a couple minutes before we start putting anything magnetic in there and potentially busting them out. Uh, so there we have them in place, uh, just drying for a little bit. Going to go ahead and let the glue secure. But as you can see, there's plenty of clearance for the actual barrel to slide into place, which is what we want. Uh, so once those are dry, we can move on to the next step. All right, and once those have had an adequate opportunity to dry, uh, we're just going to go ahead and secure the turret in here. So we'll just put a little extra glue around the edges. I want to make sure that we get some on the tips of the magnets here as well. So we'll just get a little glue around there. Do want to avoid the uh, surface as best we can. And we'll just take our bottom portion of the turret and go ahead and attach that.
and just want to go ahead and make sure to hold it securely uh, so that we get a nice mating surface uh, everywhere but uh, overall that is the majority of the steps complete uh, afterwards it's just going to dry for a little bit and then uh, we'll be good to go uh, but just to kind of show it off while I'm kind of squeezing it shut still uh, we can go ahead and take our first uh, turret and just slide it right in and we'll notice that we have uh, everything that we were looking for and then we can pull that one out and just kind of take the other one and do the same thing as well slider in and there we go so there we have successfully magnetized our turret uh, still needs to dry for a little bit and then when we're done we can kind of clean up any uh, little excess bits of glue or anything like that and then we can go ahead and uh, you know once it's cleaned up get ready for our primer and then base it and give it a nice paint job so uh, we will do that in a future video uh, but as you can see we have achieved our task at hand and we now have a fully magnetized ability to swap out our turrets uh, and uh, when the time is right we will paint the castigator as well so uh, there we have the fully magnetized castigator tank with the ability to obviously rotate its turrets up and down but also to remove them as well and swap them out for different configurations and game settings so uh, so we have both options available to us still have the full flexibility of the kit itself uh, but uh, don't have to worry about rules changes or different configurations for different games so if you like the video today make sure you like and subscribe share it with your friends and uh, anywhere on social media you like and make sure that you uh, tune in for more videos like this including the uh, painting of castigator tank as well so so there we have it we have achieved the task at hand we can fully magnetize and swap out uh, both of our options here as well so now we have both the castigator heavy weapon options available to our tank so make sure you like and subscribe share it with your friends and if you learned something from this video uh, tune in next time as we will be painting this bad boy in the future as well so uh, well, there you have it guys Warhammer Man Studios I'm Warhammer Man and I'm out of here